All right, so welcome back, guys. Now, this is the Gotcha Cat. I really like this. Now, you've got a Velcro piece on the back here, so you can just put any sort of patch. I put an instructor patch on there. Um, it's really nice. Uh, you've got another Velcro piece right here. Um, I put a little... I don't even know what that is. I, I got it ahead of thrift store really cheap so kind of just went yeah why not then you've got the front velcro patch here big enough for a flag I uh, I put my Instagram uh, hello from skdtac.com um, I really like that patch it's really nice to try and advertise yourself when you're walking around um, something you'll notice first off when you pick this up is the brim has these three rivets on them all right when you flip the cap over you see why it's got this nifty little um, I don't know what you want to call that that it's it's a weapon it's definitely a weapon that's what it's designed for it's a self-defense thing um, it fits in the hand real nice in fact it actually, when you've got it in the hat, and you feel threatened by somebody, you can just grab the hat and literally have it in your hand within a couple of seconds, and nobody would suspect that you're reaching for a weapon. I mean, this is really nice. This is really nice concealed. Um, it's it fits well. It it's what's the word? It's intuitive. Like like as soon as you go to use it, you you know what you're doing with it if you know how to just defend yourself. I mean, if you don't know how to defend yourself and you're one of these people that couldn't fight their way out of a paper bag, this is definitely not the product for you. And you definitely need to go see some sort of karate expert or Krav Maga person or somebody because if you can't fight your way out of a paper bag, you know, you need to learn something. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it's, it's a nice design it's a nice product the hat itself is amazingly strong and durable um i was very shocked about it um so here's a little bit of its information um it's 100 cotton made in china um i think mine was sent to me from israel um oh wow i didn't even notice that before that's um that's the same thing in hebrew uh yeah. Uh, so yeah. Not sure if that's how you say made in China in Hebrew, but that's pretty neat. Um, yeah. It, it, it's a nice hat. Um, my main worry was that as I was wearing it, somebody would be able to see underneath of it. And um, you really can't. You really don't notice it, not unless you have your head tilted back. Um, that... And when you do see that, I had a couple of people ask me what that was. Um, I just told them that it, it keeps the hat in proper shape. That's all it is. It's a piece of plastic to hold it in place. And nobody even looked twice at me. Nobody thought, oh, yeah, you've got a weapon right there. Nope. They just saw it and went, oh, that, what's that? That's a weird thing to have on your hat. And it's like, yeah, it's this. So I thought that was neat. Um, I really do like this. Um, there's one thing that I would have really liked, and I don't know if you guys have seen these uh, sap hats. Um, a sap is another thing people call blackjack. Um, they've been building them, and what they do is they put a little piece of uh, lead or something like that in the back piece right here so you can grab the cap and then hit somebody with it. Um, I think that that would be really neat addition to this hat because what you could do is you could grab this off, take your other hand, take the hat, and now you've got two weapons in one. Or you can grab the hat, start smacking somebody with the hat, and if that's not working, then take this out and become lethal with this because it, like, I know this is dull as you can see, but you stab somebody in the throat with this, it's going to hurt. Like, I don't care what anyone says. They're going to go down, and there's a good chance that if you hit them hard enough, you'll kill them. Um, not that I'm 
recommending or suggesting killing anybody, but in self-defense, you need to be ready to kill somebody. Because if you're not ready to kill a person in your own defense, then you aren't ready to defend yourself. It's just a fact. And nothing personal, nothing against anybody, but that's just the way it is. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I highly recommend this hat. I really like it. It's a good product. Um, you know, it, it, it's there's nothing really to complain about. So, this is definitely a 5 out of 5 product. It's a hat. It works as a hat. It's not cheaply made. It's not... Um, it's not poorly manufactured. They didn't cut corners by using cheap this or that. Um, if you're wondering what this is, this is a plastic. Um, I'm not sure what type of plastic because I'd never got a description with it, but this is a plastic. Um, I also did get a free Infidel patch with it. Um, I'll just bring that out real quick because I got that right by me. Um, they gave me this for free, so that was kind of neat. You can just put that right where the uh, flag patch is supposed to go. Or if you have something like I do, you can just, you know, discard the patch. Um, so, yeah, I highly recommend it. I give it a 5 out of 5. It's it, There's nothing wrong with it. So, I you know, definitely go pick one up if you think that this is something that you would use or something that you might use. Um, I don't see where anybody would have any issue using this. I mean, anybody from a 5-year-old to a 55-year-old to an 85-year-old could use this product with absolutely no problem. Um, it's ready to go. As soon as you buy the hat, you get it at home, you put it on your head, you're good. There's no real necessity for training. You're punching somebody with the piece of plastic that you have on the hat. It is its own weapon, and it's pretty good. Um, so, you know, go check out the product. It's uh, the Gotcha Cap from Fab Defense. Um, go check it out. All right, guys. Until next time, see you later.